one thing I'm definitely going to try to do is take the advice that you and a lot of people have been giving, uh, which is to break up the news show into smaller uh, topics and basically do feature shows that are, you know, on the time scale of maybe 10 minutes long, maybe 15 minutes long in that range, um, and try to do them much more frequently. The original plan for this particular broadcast was to have Barbarino do the entire thing, uh, but he had uh, technical difficulties on his head, on his side with the uh, with his headset, and I had a lot of technical difficulties on my side, just getting OBS to run perfectly. So there's going to be a little bit of uh, difficulty in setting things up in that regard. Um, but overall, what I'm trying to do is teach my deputies how to run this broadcast such that uh, we can have a greater bus factor within the ministry and basically increase the number of productions that we're able to put out. Yeah, my headset just up and died on me. Like, I didn't even do anything to it. It just straight up died. Um, I would have been happy to have hosted and run the thing. Um, but props to having a damn good ministry with the damn good people willing to host this thing on less than an hour's notice. It was incredible how many people came right at the very end right there showing up. Um, oh, agreed. Yeah, it was good. We got Darkania, which, oh, <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> oh, I love him. Best floof. 2K9. And Ghost, once we figure out how to convert these FOV files over to uh, .mov and whatnot, I can use the uh, files that I do have saved from my backup um, and use those in order to get the other show up and running, the one from December. Um, I'm not actually sure if they're FOVs or if they're WVEs .wave files. Um, either way, once I get those files converted, I can then uh, sort of work on the previous one and get that up and going. I know that was your sort of one point of contention from my last term in office, that I didn't get that December broadcast up, um, but I assure you there was good reason for that. I didn't want it to go up unedited without um, any of the uh, sort of static reduction that I do on it and um, with sort of the intro. You can question whether or not that's necessary, but to just hold with the standard of the previous broadcasts, I felt it was best. I'm really glad I set up the Dropbox because it allows more people to record it and just send it to me. Yeah, that was a really good move on your part. Um, eventually, uh, you're going to get replaced. Uh, but um, definitely share the password with the next minister. Uh, next minister. That's the current plan. I'm starting to try to figure out how that transition is going to go. And in the meantime, if I should share the password with others, I know that, like, so I, I feel like it's really important to share it with maybe the delegate or maybe with uh, um, moderators, maybe. I don't know. I, I just really am not the kind of guy you'd want to have running one of these things. I just know how to work it right now. Um, but when it comes to that transition, there's going to be a real question in my mind as to how to do that properly. In my mind, it should just get shared with the next minister and then just leave it to the next minister to figure it out. Um, if the delegate or if the next minister really cares enough, um, the next minister can gobble the password to um, ensure that past ministers can't interfere with it um, for any particular reason um, and just leave it up to the next minister for, um, for interpretation. I don't know. If I was minister, I might share it with the delegate, or I might put it in the communications leadership chat, but I don't really know.
I don't think it's that big of an issue. If Right now, it's not really an issue because I would like to say that I've been running it responsibly, but when it comes to that transition, yeah, there's definitely a point where it should be shared. Maybe I'll put it in the executive council chat, um, but I don't know if that's right. I'll just ask Ghost about it and we'll, we'll have a talk. Yeah. I don't think it's that, I don't think it's really that big of an issue. If the delegate or someone else, if I'm minister, um, I just keep it to myself and if anybody in particular asks about it, I just say to hell with it and share it with them. It's not really that big of an The thing is, is that if I'm the only one with a password right now, it also means that I'm the only one who can upload to YouTube. Um, and that means that all the files have to go through that Dropbox to me, um, which is fine. Uh, it's just that Dropbox has a limited amount of storage, and so I have to sort of move things out of there pretty consistently, um, which is also fine. Um, but once, you know, there just has to be more knowledge as to how to do this sort of conversion, how to do the editing, how to... I feel like I'm going to be much more comfortable once I have trained all of you guys on how to do everything. That makes sense. And right now, I'm currently using, um, it's probably not the best video editing tool, uh, but it's Wondershare Filmora, and it's actually paid, and I've just had it for a while, and so I just used that. But the thing is, is that I need to find some free version of this that I can teach everybody on that works just as well, because I don't expect people to get paid subscriptions to things. That's why the the Northern Lights was so important to be on Lucid Press because Lucid Press is essentially free software if you're a student and it's a, it's actually free if you just use a sort of a temporary account. So just sort of figuring out how to teach everybody and use free software the entire way is going to be essential this term. That makes sense. Um, what exactly do you do on the um, on the video editing software? Because um, all you're doing is that one background. Um, you're not putting music behind it or anything of that sort. Um, when it comes to the news shows that we've been doing, there's very little that I do. Um, there's a few things that just sort of reduce any static or interference sort of background noise to the broadcast uh, that cleans it up a little bit, but really it doesn't do a whole lot. Uh, I then increase the volume of the entire thing to like 200% so that you can sort of hear everybody. And I might go through and listen to the entire thing again and find particular moments where, say, Mad Jack is being really quiet or something and just boost him over everyone else. Um, I'll then add the intro, which does have like a small little bit of music, but it's really insignificant. Um, that could be cut out pretty much. And then the little outro that I have, I'll put a little bit of music over that, but really nothing more. And then I'll upload it. But when it comes to sort of feature shows and the smaller things that I've done, like the tutorial videos I did a little bit of at the beginning of last term, I almost always put music behind yeah, those and a lot more editing goes into those. So the general direction with which the ministry is moving, is moving towards more editing, making it more professional, and sort of removing some of the sort of more amateur glitches that we've had in the past. Um, and for that, you just need better software. Um, and that's the issue. That makes sense. I feel like a lot of the stuff that I'm doing currently could be done with, like, you know, some free, like, Windows you know, movie editing software or like, you know, movie maker or something like that. Um, but as we get a little bit more sophisticated, that's definitely going to change. Awesome. I've kind of had a genuine interest in running a YouTube channel just in general um, at times in the past. So that'd be definitely be. This is definitely good practice for that. So I can teach you how to work things. I can teach you how to upload things. I can teach you how to 
you know, create playlists and, uh, you know, put the little subscripts underneath. It's actually way easier than you might think. Um, there's not a whole lot more than that that I know. I know YouTube is kind of screwy, but it it can't be that hard, even with the genuinely bad UI that I've seen on YouTube. It's really not that hard. The The only issue right now is that they're transitioning their UI. They're sort of having like a, a new template, a new creator studio that they're putting into place um, over the old one, but they haven't actually brought over all of the features yet from the old one to the new one. So you have to sort of go back to the classic to find things that, because I just don't know where it is anymore. But besides Leave that- to YouTube to fuck up everything they touch. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but honestly, you can figure out pretty much everything within an afternoon um, on your own without any outside assistance. And anything that you would have questions on, there are YouTube videos of how to do it, you know. Um, how to YouTube from YouTube help. Literally, that's a thing. <laughs> So the general plan, as I was discussing earlier, for the Ministry of Communications, and one of the sort of opening remarks that I made is a real focus on, so what we did last term with deputies was okay, I guess, but really it, it wasn't ideal, and I felt pretty bad about it to begin with as well. Just because I was becoming minister and transitioning towards having that responsibility, I felt like I needed to do basically everything, um, and that's just really not the case. And I've I've come around to the idea of having deputy ministers contribute significant amounts of the workload, just so that not only am I more focused and able to help edit and produce better quality content across the board, but it means that each of the deputy ministers is qualified in producing that on their own, um, which is pretty significant, I think, for the future of TNP, because it means that after we've sort of passed on, we've at least passed the knowledge along such that, you know, future leaders know how to, how to work things. Yeah, I can, I can kind of point to an example of that in the NPA. Um, where, as I'm sure you're aware, um, many of the many of our recent ministers of defense, after Gladio passed on and went to the SC, um, still shaking your fist, get back here, boss baby. Um, after he left that, he kind of had he obviously left some really big shoes to fill. So um, we kind of got activity in the officer corps going as dark mentioned and during our broadcast and um he kind of established a precedent of officers leading and doing more ops rather than just the minister of defense and general staff and the rest of high command um and that's something we've seen contrib we've seen happen since really since uh, Malf's term. Um, that's when I became an officer, and I've I've been leading ops quite a bit since then. And the the same kind of goes for the rest of the officers. I felt like I had a lot so of difficulty. Not in ZMP. Yeah, no, I totally hear what you're saying. I felt like I had a lot of difficulty last term leading the Ministry of Communications just because we had like a few misunderstandings. And then, you know, things sort of fell through the cracks a whole bunch of different times, and it just came to making sure everything got done. And so I, I kept asking in the AMAs, um, you know, what is your leadership style to, like, all the other ministers? Because I was desperately trying to figure out how to better run the ministry. And I think I've taken that advice and used it to my to the best of my ability to give each of the deputy ministers the responsibilities that I feel are legitimate and deserved, um, while also making us way more productive overall. I see I see a lot of that. I think part of it was also the fact that you were you're somewhat new to the region. Um just like when when did you come to TNP? Was it August? 
It was very recently, yeah. So um, about a month after I arrived is when Sawale basically just came to me uh, via DM and was like, hey, are you interested in becoming, you know, Minister of Communications? To, me, to which my response was, of course, yes, I'd love to. Um, but it was a month in. And then based on the forum transition and everything, by the time I actually took office, it was like the second, maybe third month in. Yeah, I think that I think that's something you can kind of, if you spend more time in the region, um, you can kind of, you can kind of more observe and sit back and see what happens. Um, and I, I definitely think your first term went really well and a lot of your goals were accomplished and I'm really proud of the progress that and that NBS made. So there is a foundation there from which to build on in terms of NVS as a whole. Um, but you left a lot of work to be done and, and I'm 100% glad that ghost gave you a vote of confidence and said, Hey, I like where we're going. Let's keep going that way. And I'm really confident that under your leadership and our new kind of style of deputy ministers, um, doing stuff. Um, I'm confident that we can make a lot of progress. Yeah, this is going to be a great term. I can already feel it. This is going to be... I mean, if everything's going as it's already going and continues on this track, I mean, the best term for mi the Ministry of Communications in, you know, several terms, if not years, right? I mean, this is going to be good, in my opinion. Um... I would like to say, though, that when I came on as minister the first time for my first term, I wasn't, like, completely inexperienced. Like, I've okay, been on not. I've been on nation states for, you know, five and a half years now or something. And, you know, TNP is just the latest episode in that history. Um, so coming on was not a new thing. Like, I've been delegate before um, for, a, for a long time. Um, but when it when it comes to like the traditions and the sort of standard operating procedure within the North Pacific, I was definitely new to that. So I didn't have, I mean, I had a general idea of where I wanted to take the ministry, but I didn't have anything prepared, right? So the first day, I sort of was writing everything as it was coming and watching what other ministers were, were doing such that I could basically just imitate that um, to the best of my ability. That makes sense. So that should at least explain the first like day or two of, of the term. This Go ahead. this term, I feel like I really have my my shit together a lot more. Yeah. So when it comes to current publications that we have going, so the December broadcast of NBS is probably going to be the first thing to come up, and I'll try to get that out this afternoon if I can or later this evening. Um, and then probably tomorrow morning, I'll upload the NBS that we just did. Um, as for the future schedule of NBS, um, I'm just going to sort of book out, like, next month we'll probably do another one of these NBS news shows. But between then and now, I want to try to get out, like, four more broadcasts. I want to, like, actually get on the habit of making this a weekly thing and it's going to start rough like you, you and I are going to have to work through it the hard way and and based on the computer issues that I've been having on my side and the headset issues on your side we're going to have to work it out somehow but I really want to get this show on the road basically as quick as we can oh I agree and the the best way of doing that is just to start working on it so people are going to have to understand that the first few episodes are probably going to be pretty rough but hopefully by the end of the term, it's regular, it's consistent, and it's, you know, it shows promise. That's the hope. Yeah, um, I'm 100% I'm with you there. Um, four, four shows might be a little bit ambitious. I would, have sh I would shoot for three, but if you want to shoot for four, then four is the goal. Um, when I, I say, I don't foresee myself having a 
having a complete dearth of free time, but um, but I should have a good amount of free time as compared to January. Like so far, this month has been completely and utterly fucking hectic, to say the least. Um, and so next month, I, I don't foresee myself doing that much. Um, because I'm this this weekend, I'm kind of just taking a break from a lot of stuff. Um, so I can just like focus on my mental health and be like, okay, what the fuck was that? Um, and like, l- let's just start moving on. Um, but yeah, in February, I should have the time to focus on this more. Um, so four shows like this, I think they could work. I totally hear you on that. My life has been so hectic in real life. I mean, I've got so much going on. And so that's like the reason why, I I mean, I'm totally committed to the Ministry of Communications. When I said to Ghost that I could do it, like there, there was a serious period of consideration for about two weeks, maybe three weeks prior to that, when I said, I'm gonna have to seriously evaluate my commitments in real life versus in nation states to see if I can stay on. And the truth of the matter is, I really, really want to stay on as Minister of Communications. This means so much to me, and I love this job. But I really had to commit myself to it. Um, And what that has meant for my other TNP responsibilities is, like, the other day I spoke with Brendog and actually resigned as the ambassador to three regions. And I'm, I'm sort of having to pull out of other responsibilities in order to concentrate my time here. I don't ask you guys to do the same thing. I want you to serve TNP as best as possible, uh, but that's just sort of my own prerogative. Um, That said, uh, with the four shows, I'm not talking like new shows necessarily. I'm literally just saying four broadcasts of any variety. We could even have just like some of the tutorial videos that I was working on before that slipped through the cracks last term and have those just sort of as like a starting, uh, uh, just a base, you know? Um, And I don't expect you to do everything either. I'm definitely going to put on a lot of my own effort in this because I care about NBS as well. Um, So if you're busy next month, um, don't worry about it too hard. Uh, I know that uh, Marcus Antonius is going to be out of town in Spain for like two weeks in that period as well. So it'll be a difficult time for the ministry, but I'm sure we'll keep it together. Um... Part of the good, one of the good things about being a senior is you get a little bit more free time than you do as an underclassman. Um, but yeah, uh, I think we'll be okay. We're, we're definitely going to be okay. Um, I, I'm personally committed to NBS, and I love, I love the program. I love speaking in it, and I love going back and listening to past ones. Um, to see kind of where we've changed in our opinions and who participates um, just as a whole. And it's a, it's such an interesting thing to me. Um, And I, I, I would love nothing more than to see this become a regular thing. And I'm, I'm definitely willing to put in my end. Um, what I have to do in terms of uploading, editing, um, once I get that figured out. Um, and I'm going to end up getting a, a headset in the next week or two sometime. Um, and then, yeah, after that all gets cleared up, then I d- I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to be putting more into this. Almost hard to believe. Yeah, for me, it's it's. I need to figure out my headphones and my position over here because I, d- I, d- I don't know if you heard the NBS thing that I uploaded, the test that I had done. I mean, it was the most grainy, most difficult to understand thing. I mean, you've heard in a while. As for the general direction of NBS and whatnot, I could not agree more with you. It's so fun to look back at previous episodes of this and, and previous shows from from earlier terms. And like um 
I, I gotta say, I really miss Scorch and uh, Yao Kan because, I mean, his, like, dear Yao Kan thing was great, right? I mean, that was that was up there. And, you know, seeing how traditions have changed over time, this is just a very easy media to sort of show what things have been like and to document, you know, how things are going within the region. And so it's, I, I think it's really important to keep this up. Oh yeah, it's totally a um it it's like kind of taking a picture of what TNP is like and then framing it for posterity. Like it's just all up there on the wall. It, it's really kind of a cool thing. Um because you can kind of gauge where opinions are at. You can like people will probably forget by next May or next September, if Magic isn't around, that, hey, Magic had a really successful campaign. Um, and it, it, if Magic never gets Deliot, they're probably going to forget, oh, who, who is this Magic character? He just was, he was Minister of Culture for a while. Um, that they'll probably forget some of the core facts, like, hey, he was dos he um, He kind of came back from that. And he appealed to the RPers and the RP community, which he had served so diligently, even during his DOS, um, kind of like he does now. You can, you can kind of go into that kind of detail through NBS, which really isn't attainable through other sorts of media. Like TNL or TNS just don't really have the kind of potential to go into that kind of analysis of the people um the people on the screens i mean yeah, y- y- your point about tns is totally right i mean tns is basically just government reports like and and that's the thing with um that you know everybody was was last term you know even praetor when i didn't get out an edition of the northern lights was like where did the northern lights go almost in an accusatory sense and the truth is that I took what was the Northern Lights and just renamed it. Like, it it has lived on this entire time just as the North Star. If you look at, like, what is in the North Star versus what is in the previous editions of it, like, from, from Brendog's term, I mean, it's basically the same. And, and the Northern right. Lights is really a, a new direction for the paper. I'm trying to get back to some of the earlier uh, editions of it from, like, 1 through 5, where they had a little bit more analysis and whatnot. And I want to make it more professional and more serious. But it's a new thing, at least in the last few years. Definitely. Um, and I, I definitely love the direction that TNL is going. But TNL and NBS differ in that TNL is not a... Um, it's not really a look into the personas of the people behind the screen. It's more just what is happening behind the screen. Like I said, the personal analysis of MJ is possible through NBS, um, but it's not really possible through TNL unless you kind of, unless, Hey, that's a, that's an idea for an article. Um, Do it. I dare you. (laughs) Just a, um, a run through of, of who um who is in tmp like some of the big names some of the big figures who they are what and what their background is so i definitely agree in that regard and that's actually something that i'm scared of when it comes to nbs and taking it in the direction that we're going is that by making it more professional and more smooth and more clean. I actually think that we're taking some of the character out of it from, you know, it, based on the fact that NBS is a snapshot of the culture and the values of TNP at any one given point in time. I'm, I'm worried that by smoothing that over, we're actually degrading some of the value of NBS. And that's something that we're going to be, we're, we're going to have to be very careful of. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. Um, that's something that I tend to. Um, that's something that I tend to personally do over voice chat. Is I tend to 
kind of lose the mask for a second. Um, I tend to, I tend to go on more personalized um, talks or I will say like, Hey, this, what this person has done this and I'm proud of it. Um, if I'm, if I'm talking about something that's relevant. I tend to do the same thing. I try really hard not to and to remain professional because it's my duty as the minister right now to keep that mask on. But at the same time, I find it really difficult to do just because NBS just feels more real, you know? And you can actually convey tone in a way that you can't do in text. Um, And so it's a lot easier to sort of get more emotional about things and to also defend things a little more dif- more more strenuously, and to really get into what things are actually like. That's what I was saying when I was talking about it being more like a a framed picture on the wall kind of thing, um, where it's just like, what's going on in TNP right now? let's look at it in at a past NBS broadcast because it's kind of a look into a different, a couple of different points of view on the TNP landscape. That's not really possible over text Um, because it's a matter of like, it's a matter of like, hmm, how do I word this? it's a matter of people seeing TNP through their own different, um, through their own different cognitive biases and their own different experiences um, that kind of make it a valuable thing because you can kind of see what it's like. Oh, an NPA or is kind of displeased at X, Y, Z because Z, Y, X um, or, Oh, a um, one of TNP's, uh, former speakers really liked um, this speaker because such and such, that kind of thing. You can't really get that through text um, like like in TNL or TNS, um, whereas it just gives you a snapshot of what people actually feel um, about the region, about what's going on in the region. Um that you can't really get over, um, over, over text. Yeah, I get you. Um, and you know, this last broadcast, the one that we just completed, um, is in my mind, probably, I, I have sort of a split in my views. It's from an organizational standpoint, from a, you know, smooth transitions standpoint, from one that doesn't have a lot of, like, awkward pauses or awkward moments, um, this was, like, clearly the worst that we've done ever. Um, you know, it, it, at least that I've participated in. And I feel personally responsible for that, and I'm trying to, like, sort of apologize for it, but at the same time, it was also one of the more real ones that we've had. And it gets back to what NBS was prior to me restarting it. Um, it. It gets back to sort of what I saw in NBS that was so cool that I loved so much, that snapshot that you're describing. And so I really, I'm sort of split in my views on this. I, I, I really want NBS to become more professional and to sort of uh, emulate what Europia is doing on their side with their EBC radio but at the same time keep that character that we've had in previous broadcasts. And it's a tough line to walk. It's like a tightrope. Um, and I, I, I don't know which side we're going to end up on, but I'm pretty sure that I'm going to start pushing for more professionalism in the broadcasts and, and try to keep that character in because I know that we're all humans. It's, it's just tough to do. Yeah. It, it's impossible to completely keep the mask on all the time. Um, and honestly, the, in my mind, the charm of NBS is its snapshot element because you can't, you can't get an accurate sense of what's going on um, just from a purely suits perspective. Um, you can't just be like, 
this election happened then and blah, 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 blah. You can kind of get those in, like, if we're going to have a, a major news show and it's going to be segregated from the other, um, it's going to be segregated from our bigger, perhaps we could call the little ones, here's, a, here's an idea. Perhaps we call the little, um, the mini shows we do, um, news shows versus it. And those are the more professional ones. Um, and then talk shows could be the more, um, the more unprofessional, uh, version. How's that? Yeah, we could actually totally do that. I think, I think that's the only way we're going to get that mix is by having a little bit of both and just separate them. Yeah. Um, they could both be under the jurisdiction of NBS. Um, yeah, we totally can and, do that. And then just put them all on the same YouTube channel, but just have different playlists for each one, and then make sure that the description is accurate. And then that's it. Perfect. And then they could be sim- they could be the same. Th- they could be just like the Northern Lights versus the North Star. That's the. It's a similar concept. Um, but they serve different functions. It's the same thing. That's exactly right, dude. You've you've nailed it. Um, I I think that that's what we're probably going to go with. Then it's just the question of like, how are we going to make it that much more professional and make it sound good? Because you know, are we going to just go off of a script then? Because that just totally loses the character. But at the same time, otherwise yeah, it won't. No, I'm 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 a fan of unscript. I'm the same way because you get more real dialogue that way and you get into what people are actually thinking. That way you can actually get opinions into what's going on. And also there's, you know, a lot less work involved in script writing um, and narration if it, it, rather than just talking. Like that's one of the things that... Um, that's one of the things that I don't see enough of on nation states voice or on nation states servers is that there's just not enough spontaneous conversation um, about what it is. Um, but then when someone runs an event like this, we get crazy, we get crazy turnout. Um, and then we get a lot of views on the uploads afterwards. So I don't, I don't see why we don't run more events through the Agora voice chat or whatever. Um, just given the fact that it kind of, um, no, I totally really get what you're saying. Kind of a cool thing. One of the things that I was trying to do last term was like, just record things. And, and then after the fact, ask people who were there, like, Hey, do you mind if this goes on NBS? And if they say no, then just like not do it. But if they say yes, then like throw it up. And I just never ended up getting it done because every single time it happened, I had like technical difficulties. So what I'm talking about is like one of the times that uh, Wondrous had a town hall as speaker. I was there trying to like act as a reporter and capture that. Or, you know, the voices to excellence thing that he had as speaker, uh, the parliamentary debate ones. I was trying to capture that. People were like, do we have a transcript? And I was like, well, we would have had a transcript had my you know, computer been working that day. Um, but I was there trying to get that done. And, and smaller things like that, I feel like we could do a lot of. Yeah, if we get, um, if we get me, um, Malf, Marcus Antonius, and future um, deputy ministers trained in that, we could have a lot more of that kind of content up there as just like, commentary or other programs um as a playlist exactly because you and i can't be everywhere all at once and i'm not going to be online all the time and you know if if i'm the only one doing it i'm online quite a bit but i'm not often at my computer yeah yeah i do a lot of mobile too (laughs) i just like the computer aspect so much more for ns i I do a lot of it while I'm sitting in bed being lazy. Um, and I, and I've got a, um, I've got a monitor and a setup, so I can't really bring that into bed. Um, so. Yeah, that makes sense. 
I've got a laptop, so it's a lot easier to carry around and do shit with me. Yeah, my laptop is, um, it's my backup computer. It was one I used for like two and a half months while my computer was off basking in sunny, sunny California, um, hoping to get some voodoo magic done to its audio ports. Um, uh, and it's kind of like splitting, kind of, where like the um, part of it's like literally coming apart. So it's a matter oh, of, shit. You know, like, literally not falling apart if I bring it out of my bed. So. Yeah, that's not good. All right. Well, it was really good talking to you. Thanks for doing the broadcast today. Um, I'm sure we'll get the technical yep. difficulties and whatnot settled somehow in the next week or two or something. Um, I'm going to go for now. Uh, thanks for coming. Oh, definitely. And document or let me, I'll um, document those proposed changes to NBS um, in terms of the spontaneity thing, as well as the, um, the split in the more professional versus the more spontaneous um, NBS shows. I'll, I'll throw those up both in the communications channel and the uh, NBS channel. Thanks. Sounds good. Talk to you around.